Hey you guys and welcome to another video. So today po is to be discussing kung wala na nga ba pong feel sad. So if you're interested then please keep on watching. By the way, I'm Jeremiah and I upload law school and law story related vlogs. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell sa tabi na subscribe. Or you can just simply click the click here in a circle dyan sa my corner. So let's get to the video. Hey guys! So yes, kamusta na po kayo lahat? And yes, it's been too long since my last na sit down na video. So today po, I decided to make a content about this one. Feel sad because marami pong nagtatanong sa akin kung ano nga ba po ang current na status ng feel sad. Especially po for those incoming first year na law students. So today, again, we'll be discussing kung meron pa nga bang feel sad o wala na pong feel sad. But guys, our discussion for today will not just keep those incoming law students but also those students who are incoming second year students o yung mga law students po na magsa second year na po because meron po tayong discuss that will benefit them or will give them information about their status especially for those who are conditional na enrollees last year so guys let's start Okay, so last April po, April 24, ang LEB po ay nagpalabas na isang memorandum. It's called LEB Memorandum Circular Number 57 Series of 2020. So that was April 24, 2020. Yung memorandum na po yun was issued like a day before, like April 23, 2020. Tapos, the following day, pinost po ng LEB sa kanilang official page for public consumption. So now, the question, sino ba silang mga LEB? So for those na hindi po alam kung sino po ang LEB, LEB, especially for those who are incoming na law students, first year law students or those students na hindi pa narinig yung tungkol sa LEB well, I will give you a very simple na parang explanation about LEB. So, ang LEB po is parang ganito. If you remember nung elementary at high school kayo, di ba naggumagawa ng mga important announcements for us, like nung high school at elementary tayo, is ang DepEd. So kung may pasok o wala, kung may mga important holidays or celebrations, ginagawa ng DepEd yan, di ba? Tapos nung nag-college naman tayo, eh, hindi na tayo kasama ng DepEd because ang college po is already under CHED. So pag may declaration yung DepEd na walang pasok, so yung mga college students, hindi kasama. Kasi nga, hindi sila under DepEd. Now, ang LEB po is pa parang DepEd for law schools. So, nakuha nyo na guys. Ang LEB po is the regulating body for law schools dito po sa Philippines. I hope uh, you get my point, you get a picture kung sino ba ang LEB. And as early as now, I want to encourage everyone to please follow their page sa Facebook. It's called Legal Education Board. And they also have their official website. I think kung hindi man ako nakakamali, it's leb.gov.ph. I want you to follow them guys because they are posting very relevant ng informations regarding law schools. Hindi lang po mga important announcements but also if ikaw po is you are planning to proceed to law school tapos hindi ka sure kung saan ka mag enroll then ang LEB po na Facebook page they are posting also list of recognized na law schools dito sa Philippines. Para po sigurado ka po na kung mag enroll ka sa isang law school is legit po tapos recognized ng LEB. E, lalagay ko rin po yan sa description box below. Now, let's proceed to our topic. Ang pinaka importante tanong po ngayon ay meron pa bang filsat? Now, ang sagot po dyan is yes po, meron pa pong filsat. Pero, malaking pero po wala munang filsat for this year. So, sinabi ko po na meron because ang LEB hindi naman sila nag-announce na totally cancelled na ang filsat. They just announced under LEB Memorandum Circular Number 57 Series of 2020 na ang filsat for academic year 2020-2021 is suspended. Again po, suspended po ang feels that for this incoming na academic year 2020-2021. So again, wala munang feels that for this year. Because po sa current na crisis po natin ngayon, not sa Philippines but for the entire mundo. So mahirap po na mag-conduct ng isang national na exam. Kasi nga, di ba, may kailangan may social distancing. Tapos bawal pa po ang mga mass gathering. So yun po, suspended muna ang feels that for academic year na 2020-2021. Now, sa mga incoming po first year students, the question now is are you going to celebrate na? Then the answer po is 
hindi. Why? Because under panig po siya ng section 1 ng LAB Memorandum Circular is that ang lahat ng law schools are inaatasan na mag-administer or mag-conduct ng sarili nilang admission exam. So, suspended mo ng PhilSat pero ang mga law schools po ay inaatasan na magkaroon ng sarili nilang admission exam. So, technically, meron pa rin pong exam for incoming na first year students. So, wag po muna tayong mag-celebrate kasi wala pong PhilSat. So, the question is, bakit last year ba or last or for the past years wala bang mga admission exams ang mga law schools? Guys, yung mostly po sa mga malaking mga universities, mga law schools po, especially po sa Luzon or sa mga big cities, yung mga law schools po doon, on top of PhilSat is meron po silang mga sariling admission exam. Parang UP la eh, parang ganun guys. So, meron na po silang admission exam for their school plus yung PhilSat pa. So, parang ganun. Now, the question is, paano po yung mga lugar na high risk for the pandemic, for COVID-19? Nakalagay po sa memorandum na yung mga law schools within high risk area, they may waive the exam. They may totally waive the exam. So, for example, if you are in yung pinaka yung high risk areas ngayon sa Philippines, hindi ako nagkamali ha, it's NCR and sa Visayas po is Cebu. So, if you are planning to enroll to any law schools within Cebu or di kaya sa NCR sa Manila, so that school may waive the administering of the, the entrance exam for law school. So, depende po yan. Don't worry guys, those law schools will be posting some announcements ahead if meron ba silang admission exam o wala. So, just follow their pages or whatever kung may announcement man. So, you go check them out para po masigurado nyo po kung meron pa ba silang admission exam or wala na. Okay, so that part po is technically for incoming law students who never had PhilSat before and who are planning to enroll for law school. Now, sa following sections naman po ng memorandum, section 2 tsaka section 3 ng memorandum is actually addressed for those students who were already enrolled as law students sa first year. Sa section 2 po, concerns the students who are called conditional enrollees. So again, sino ba yung mga conditional enrollees? Ang conditional enrollees po are those students who took the previous PhilSat, for example, example, nung PhilSat nung last year, September 2019, na unfortunately po, we're not able to meet the requirement. The passing grade po, the passing score ng PhilSat. So, pag conditional enrollee ka, di ba, you are allowed to enroll to, to a law school, but you have to take the next na PhilSat. But, good news po for those who are considered conditional enrollees last SEM, are now considered regularized na students. Yes po, if you are a conditional na enrollee for law school last SEM, you are now considered a regularized na student if you're going to proceed to law school this SEM, 2020-2021. Kasi nga, di ba, suspended po ang PhilSat for this year, so walang PhilSat for this year. Tapos hindi pa natin sure kung hanggang kailan yung suspension ng PhilSat. Let's just hope na everything will go back to the old normal. So, if I'm going to read po verbatim, yung nakalagay po dito sa memorandum, nakalagay po dito is, they shall be considered to have the condition of their admission fulfilled and shall no longer be required to take the exam to have their admission regularized. So, yun guys, sa mga lahat po ng mga hindi, hindi po nakapasa nung last na PhilSat last year, so you are now considered regularized na student, so you won't be required anymore to take PhilSat sa mga darating po na PhilSat. Hindi man this year, but sa mga incoming po na PhilSat. So, now po, if you are one of those conditional na students, wala po kayong ibang gagawin because ang law schools po ang magpapadala ng mga names nyo to LEB. So, guys, wala po kayong gagawin, wala po kayong submit na, na requirements, your law school will be submitting your name sa, sa LEB and the LEB will be giving you your special eligibility number. So, that's a good news for everyone. Okay guys, so sa section 3 naman po under the same memorandum, this one is for those students naman po who were able to enroll as a law student last SEM or last school year but were not able to take the PhilSat talaga. Talaga hindi sila nag PhilSat but they were able to enroll to a law school. So, according to section 3 po of memorandum circular ng LEB number 57, is that that those students will be considered a conditional enrollees tapos and if you remember sa section 2 po ng memorandum na lahat po ng mga conditional enrollees will be regularized so eventually kayo po na mga students who were not able to take the PhilSat but were able to enroll yourself sa law school as law students nung last year you will now be considered regularized law students as well okay so paano ba yan mangyayari so don't worry because kayo po mga law students you will not be required 
required to submit anything, any requirement. Ang law schools nyo po will be submitting your names in your behalf to LEB and the LEB will be will be the one to give you your eligibility number. So parang ganun po, as simple as that. So di ba parang that's a good news for everybody. So I would say, I would personally say that this memorandum is a good news to everyone because meron din po akong mga kaklase po who took the FILSAT but were not able to pass the FILSAT noong September 2019 and parang nakakasad din kasi pag they have to retake the FILSAT and the following FILSATs pa. So di ba? Another burden for them and pag hindi pa po nakapasa so they may, there will be a possibility na hindi na sila makapusit to law school. So parang kawawa din po pag ganun na nangyari. So guys, to summarize everything sa lahat po nang nabanggit ko ngayon una po, meron pa pong FILSAT pero suspended po siya for this year. Again po suspended po ang FILSAT for this year. So, wala mo ng FILSAT for incoming first year law students. Tapos po, lahat po ng mga conditionally enrolled na law students last year 2019 2020 are now considered regularized na law students. So, you won't be required to take FILSAT in the future. I guess wala na po akong ibang madidiscuss according sa memorandum na pinalabas ng LEB. I just hope that I was able to be of good help to everybody. Tapos, guys, kung may comment man kayo, may reaction kayo sa nasabi ko ngayon, please let me know. Just comment that one below. And pag may nasabi man ako na, na mali or if I were able to offend you, naging sensitive man ako sa mga nasabi ko or whatever, please let me know also. But if you find this one informative, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up, okay? And yes po, I also encourage you to please follow me in my other social media accounts. Nakalagay po siya sa baba, sa Instagram, uh, Facebook. We have a page there. I have also my personal na account. Tapos sa Twitter, I also have my Gmail sa baba. And guys, meron na po akong official po na website that is www.lawpressure.com So if you have time, Please po, uh, uh, i-visit nyo po yung page na yan because nakalagay po doon yung lahat ng mga, lahat po ng mga stages ko from first year and I'm planning to post pa there some more in the future and also, I'm gonna put the link po sa baba, okay? Uh, so yun lang guys, thank you for watching and please keep safe. If you're given the privilege to stay at home, please stay at home po. That's the simplest and that's the best actually thing that we can contribute sa ating mga frontliners and for the entire human race, I guess. So yun lang po, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.